All right, so I want to show you how to do something in JASP that is selecting subsets of your sample. So we've seen in previous times that if you do descriptive statistics, you can do a split. So for example, I could get IQ and I could get it split by gender, and this will show me male and females separately. So this is really useful in context of doing descriptives, but what about if I want to do a t-test and I want to split the t-test? Notice there's not an option here to split my t-test. So how is it that I can do this t-test with only subsets of my sample as requested in the lab? Well, the way we would do this is using the filter function on the variables. So for example, if I come over to gender and I click on it, it has the option to filter. So if I uncheck female, you'll see that all the females in my data set are not going to be considered. So when I now go to do a one sample t-test and I say want to analyze IQ, I will get my 54 degrees of freedom, which indicates that this is just for the 54 males in my sample. And so there I have that result. And now if I were to come back and select only females, I can go back and do my t-test and I can get the answer for only females. So 33, and you see that this test is with 32. So here's the IQ result. Now, remember when you do these t-tests to put in your appropriate expected value. So for IQ, I might expect a value of 100, not a value of zero. So this was testing zero, and we see not surprisingly that it is significant. We don't really care about that result. We would care about this result. Notice it says the mean is different from 100 is our hypothesis, right? So here we've tested that result for females only. And as we go over here, and we change who we select, when we go back to our results, we'll see that they automatically update. And so I could go back and select everyone by gender, and I could go sub-select instead by repeating grades. And I can come back and get a new t-test result. So that's the way to quickly get all these results using different splits for your data to analyze subsections individually.